Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas and in this video I'm going to show you how to format your Facebook and Twitter posts via WordPress. Okay, when it comes to creating content on a WordPress based website, it's really important that it's easy not only for us, but as well as our audience to be able to share the things that we're creating. So this could be something as simple as a blog post. This could be a uh, podcast episode. This could also be maybe YouTube videos or videos in general that you share on your WordPress website. One of the questions that has come up to me as a WordPress developer multiple times has been, hey, how do I get to customize or change how this post looks when it's shared on Facebook or how can I change what image shows up when somebody tweets it. For some strange reason, it seems to be just pulling a random image out of my sidebar and just using that as the featured image on Twitter or on Facebook or a different social media platform. So then some of the clients I work with say, hey, could you just kind of build in this functionality to make sure that I can pick which image shows up when I share this on Facebook, to which I typically reply, I can. However, there's a plugin that most people wouldn't think would enable you to do this, but actually can help you to do this and can help you to do this for free. So the plugin I'm referring to is one called Yoast SEO. And like I mentioned, it's totally free. Now, when most people install Yoast SEO, they think, okay, this is a great plugin because I can go through and I can customize the keywords. I can make sure that my content is optimized properly for Google and other search engines. And most people don't think to use this tool for something like formatting posts on social media. However, not only is it great for formatting your posts or kind of optimizing them to be search engine friendly, it's also a great tool for being able to customize how the post will appear, particularly on YouTube, or I should say on Facebook and Twitter. So let's go ahead, I'll go ahead and pop in here and let's just do a quick tutorial to show you how to get this set up. Okay, so here I am in a nice simple demo version of WordPress. And first thing we're gonna do is just gonna pop on over to plugins. Then we're gonna click add new. Then lastly, we're gonna pop on over here to where it says keyword and we're going to type uh, SEO because it's gonna be one of the first options that shows up. There it is, Yoast SEO. Now I've already uh, installed this, so all I have to do is click activate, but what you would usually click is the button that says install now. I've already installed it, so I'm just gonna click activate to go ahead and activate that plugin. Okay, so now the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna jump on over to posts and this is typically where your main content would go. If we click on one of the posts, you'll be able to see that down towards the bottom, you have a number of different options. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do here, so let's go ahead and scroll on down. You'll see that you can go through and you can customize how this will appear for search. So it's got kind of a built-in template that you can use. I'm not gonna get into all the, the SEO uh, parts of this because I just wanted to be this to be a quick tip in regards to Facebook and Twitter. Uh, but all you have to do is click on this little option here that says social. And then under social, you'll see that you have two options available to you. You've got Facebook and then you've got Twitter. So the great thing is now what you can do, regardless of what you actually name the title of your post, you can completely change it uh, based upon each specific uh, social media platform. So let's say rather than something like hello world, you wanted this to say like uh, learn how to, um, I don't know, eat healthier in seven days or whatever different information you wanted to show up, you could have it change if you didn't want it to use the headline or the title of your article. Then what you could do as well is, I'm just gonna place in some placeholder text, uh, you can add in a custom description. So this is gonna be what shows up below the actual uh, headline itself in Facebook. And then of course, you can also upload a custom image. So again, if you want more control over which specific uh, images are gonna show up within Facebook, you can change that here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that image real quick. Then all we gotta do is pop back over to that post, click upload image drag that over and then there we go. Click use image and that's showing up exactly as it should. So the exact same concept applies to Twitter. So you can give 
uh, a specific headline and description and image that will all show up in Twitter. Okay, so now let's take a look at an actual practical example of this uh, in practice. So this is a post over on my site over at rightly.co. So what I can do is I can go ahead and click edit post. And I can actually scroll down here and I am not using the Gutenberg editor in this particular site. I did a completely different video on that if you'd like to hear my thoughts uh, as to why I don't use the Gutenberg editor. But let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and, and take a look at maybe how we want to customize this for Facebook. So let's say we pop in here, get rid of the doc, sometimes that likes to pop up on its own. Okay, so here's the actual headline, note taking and the full focus planner. So maybe just for some reason, I want to add the word tutorial. And I only want this to show up on Facebook. And I could say, learn the fundamentals of how to take notes alongside the use of your full focus planner. And that's the description I want. Then let's go ahead and pick a nice image from within my library. So I think I should have one in here. So maybe let's say full. So if I've got one in here for the notebook, sure that works. That looks like that's gonna work perfectly. So then what we're gonna do, do is we're gonna go ahead and click update. And then we're gonna click view post. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, open up a new tab in Facebook. There we go. And then once you enter in that particular URL, you'll be able to see instantly that those uh, particular pieces. So you get the nice big image showing up there. Then you've got the new headline that we have appearing. And then we've got that little subheading that shows up behind it. So you're starting to customize exactly how that's going to look on this particular social platform. Now, one of the questions that I've had pop up in the past before is someone's like, gone through this process, right? And they've set up and they've formatted it exactly how they want it on Facebook. And then they realize, oh great, I misspelled something. I need to change that. But now that I've changed it, Facebook is kind of caching or it's not updating on Facebook when I try to share it again. So if you want to look for uh, Facebook or you could say refresh Facebook share image or something like that. And you should be able to just kind of Google that there it is, sharing debugger. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste in that URL. It looks like Facebook wants an app ID. That's totally okay, you don't need that. Um, but this, and this is also a helpful tool because this is gonna tell you if there's any major issues. Like I said, not a big deal there. So all you gotta do is click scrape again. And if you scrape it again, what that's gonna do is it's gonna kind of refresh that. What it's gonna do is gonna research, it's gonna search your site one more time to see if there's any changes, and then it's gonna update that particular share information. And now let's go ahead and take a look at Twitter, same concept. So I'm just gonna say, uh, here's uh, how I take notes alongside the full focus planner paste in my link, and then I'm gonna click tweet. Okay, so one of the things I realized is that I actually need to go in here and specify what I want Twitter to show up as. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy uh, what I did for Facebook in this case. Since that seemed to work just fine, we're gonna go ahead and do the same image, same information. We're gonna go ahead and upload uh, that. And then we're gonna go ahead and click update. One thing that's good to keep in mind as well is that sometimes it may help if you're using any site, uh, any type of site caching, you wanna make sure that you clear that site cache before doing this because that can affect how that's actually gonna show up. So let's go ahead and click tweet. Copied the wrong thing, no worries. Let's go ahead and back, there we go. View post. There we go, let's copy that. Paste that in there and then click tweet. Okay, so one of the things I noticed is that this actually didn't update. So what I can do after a little bit of research is I found that they do actually have a tool that is similar and it's just cards-dev.twitter.com slash validator. And I'll leave links to both these tools below uh, this video so that you can check those out. But there you go. Click preview card after you've pasted in your information. It's going to have grabbed all that information properly. And then you're gonna see that it's showing up here just as it's supposed to. 
There we go. So you see if I give this a nice little refresh, now it's showing up with that big, beautiful image, nice headline, and all the information that you need right there. So you have total control over how this, how your posts are going to show up both on Twitter and on Facebook. Okay, so that's it. Just a quick tip I wanted to share with you today. I will leave links to all three tools that I shared today, including uh, Yoast SEO, including the, you, or I should say the Facebook, as well as the Twitter uh, developer tools that are going to enable you to kind of refresh to ensure that you're always showing the latest version of the share image or card that you want to be showing. So if, as always, if you found this video useful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.